As mentioned in the last lesson, we will now cover some other methods for removing sections of clips. To do this, first I will undo the previous function to put the clip back to its original state. Now I'll show another method that will allow me to remove a section from a clip fairly quickly. To help with this, I will change the layout somewhat. I'll move the bin window to the side and increase the preview window in size. In doing so, we can see some buttons that were previously hidden as the space for the window was limited. And so I now have here, under the timeline preview, functions for setting the in and out points on the content of the timeline, and not just for single clips. This means I can set an in point in an active timeline either with this button or with the I key. I'll click on the button with the mouse and an endpoint is created here in the timeline. Now I'll move my cursor along until the spot I want the out point to be at and I'll use the set out function to specify my out point. Now we have defined a region between our in and out points. And now we have various ways to edit the region and one of those can be found here in the edit menu under delete in out or also ripple delete in out. A small tip here, even though it isn't shown, you can call up the delete in out function via the D key from your keyboard. I'll use delete in out to start with and we can see that the defined region has been removed on all tracks, which is important to note if you wish to edit with all tracks. For our needs now, this was perfectly fine. The clip region was removed, but I would have liked to close the gap and so we can undo the last function and repeat it, but this time by using the desired ripple delete in out option, which can also be called up with the alt plus D key command. With these functions, I can quickly remove regions from my timeline over many tracks. What is nice with this way of working is that you can use the keyboard extensively. I'll undo first, and then to show this, I'll go to the in point with the mouse, press the I key, then go to the next edit point and press the O key to set the out point. And then by pressing Alt and D, the region is removed. This is a great way of working remotely with EDIUS, for example with a keyboard or an external jog shuttle interface.